Welcome to Careers Unwrapped, where we delve into real life career stories from successful people who've been through it all, the ups and the downs. We'll get their raw, honest, actionable advice and be the careers talk they wish they'd had when they started out. As someone who has had a varied career, from soldier to salesman, expedition leader to entrepreneur, he knows firsthand that your career doesn't always lead you where you expect it to. Here's your host, Mark Fawcett. Welcome to Careers Unwrapped. If you're thinking about the career ahead of you, then we're here for you. We're on a mission to help anybody who's wondering about their career route. Whether you're still studying, you're in a job, you're starting your own brand or business, or you're looking for something new and better for you. We're unwrapping the careers of a huge variety of people from a wide range of sectors and jobs. People who succeeded and those just getting started. People who believe they failed and are starting over. And people in business and public service and more. Career journeys are rarely straightforward. They twist and they turn, they're bumpy, then they're smooth. Some parts will be exciting, other parts will just be dull. But they can also be rewarding and they should be. They give us the chance to contribute something, to collaborate with different people, to earn the money we need or want, and also to make our mark. Yet our education system rarely gives us the chance to really prepare for our own personal career journey, to understand all the routes we can take, the options ahead of us, and the most important skills we need to succeed. We don't get to meet enough people and hear enough stories about real, honest career experiences in order that we can learn from them. Here at Careers Unwrapped, we want to change that. I'll be your host, Mark Fawcett. My own career has been far from straightforward. I was the first generation in my family to go to university. And then after that, I was joining the army. I served as an officer in Europe, the Middle East. And the army, as you'd suspect, actively teaches leadership and other skills like planning and organization, and then places you in situations where those skills are tested pretty hard. After that, I joined a company called World Challenge, where I was leading jungle and mountain expeditions with young adults aged about 16 to 19. I trained other leaders, the teachers and young people taking part. And I was eventually managing director as we grew and expanded to the United States. So that placed me in a business context for the first time, dealing with the challenges of growth. My current business, We Are Futures, has also been growing fast in recent years. We work with senior leaders from a range of corporate and public sector organizations like Sky, Samsung, Snapchat, Unilever, and the NHS. And we help them better understand and connect with young career starters. We advise them and Deloitte, NatWest, and even McDonald's on how to better support, recruit, and motivate young talent. So we're always getting under the skin of how they are changing the way they operate, recruit, and train, and who they're looking for. We also run the National Schools Partnership, which is a network of over 100,000 educators, teachers, and careers advisors. So I've been fortunate to have a career of learning about and teaching skills, careers, and leadership in a huge range of settings often very successfully and sometimes spectacularly failing. But almost 30 years of working with young adults, soldiers, expeditioners, students, and career starters. Now today, young talent is being shaped by a range of factors that affect how they perceive and relate to the world around them. This includes the pressure to develop the skills that they're told they need, but which are rarely or effectively taught to them. The accelerating divisions amongst nations and people, so political divides, wealth divides and greater gaps in ideology. All of these are affecting global supply chains and more. The tech tools and their ever-present nature in our lives bring never-before-known levels of connection and access, both for good and for bad. So side hustles, creator content, metaverse opportunities and fake news surround us. There's a much stronger microscope now on fairness and equality, on diversity and opportunity, on health and well-being. There's still so much more to do. And also a far greater focus on the environment and climate change and the ambition and skills needed to create a genuine green revolution. And of course, recently, COVID and the lockdowns, the impact of which have been substantial and will be felt for years to come. Younger workers were the hardest hit age group with greater numbers furloughed and losing their jobs than older colleagues. And when that's your first job, then that really hurts. And the education impact has been huge too, with a quarter of students having no formal schooling or tutoring during these lockdowns. So those from disadvantaged backgrounds fell even further behind their peers and have not caught up, and many will never do so. Career starters now are looking for roles that offer them flexibility, skills development, 
the opportunity to make a difference and packages built around more than just a salary. And in that context of what's shaping career starters, there are also many macro factors which are affecting businesses and employer mindsets now and will do so over the next few years. So globally, we're seeing rapidly changing workforce requirements. The demand for the sort of skills that can take us to net zero, that can focus on solving problems, that can exploit technology or tackle the challenges and opportunities of an aging population. The top skills employers are searching for right now include things like resilience, the ability to change and networking. They're also looking for people who will add to the morale of an organization. So choosing an attitude that will add to their culture. The impact of technology on jobs and working practices is accelerating faster and faster, but it's still barely scratched the surface in many sectors. The changes we're going to see over the next decade will be substantial and exciting. Artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, robotics, and more will move us all faster into the mainstream. Employers are widening their talent search in innovative ways. They're looking far beyond traditional routes, so they're engaging a lot more with communities and demographics that have previously been underrepresented in their business. They are improving and widening their entry routes, including apprenticeship programs, to reach people who don't have a family history of going to university or who are worried about the substantial debt that a degree could burden them with. They're using a wider range of digital recruitment tools such as social media, chatbots, AI recruiting software, and applicant tracking systems. Many are now shifting towards more sophisticated options to attract candidates online and automate processes like candidate screening, sending rejection letters, and onboarding processes. So you can now be targeted, interviewed, and then rejected by a robot. As a result of all of this, there's increasingly competitive recruitment, meaning companies and actually whole sectors are fighting harder and harder to bring the best talent to them. Employers are more than ever looking for talent over knowledge, for potential over qualifications, and for skills over subjects. Keywords here are talent, potential, and skills. These are the holy grails for recruiters, way more important than qualifications, which can certainly open a door or grab initial attention. But unless in very specific careers with strict qualification needs, like medicine, for example, they matter less now than in the past, and that trend is likely to continue. Now, a strong degree from a top university still carries a lot of weight, but the proportional value that employers give to that is reducing. So overall, they're competing with each other to make their business a better place to start a career, which is good news for career starters, but it's still a complicated, often messy and always changing landscape. So this is where Careers Unwrapped comes in. We will interview a really wide range of people from different career journeys. We will unwrap their careers and we'll learn from their successes and their fails and listen to their advice. And also for every interview, we're going to produce a set of notes that captures their observations and gives you links to information on their sector or company or their type of work. So it's more than just a podcast. It's a whole program of career stories, advice, and inspiration. So listen in or watch closely. Read the episode notes if you want. Tell us who you'd like to come on the show. Send us your questions for those taking part. Pick up the advice and tips that can help you shape your own career. And join our mission to help people develop the careers in which they can thrive. So welcome to Careers Unwrapped. This podcast is sponsored by We Are Futures. To find out more about We Are Futures and how we can introduce your brand, business or organisation to the mass markets of tomorrow, visit www.wearefutures.com. Make sure to search for Careers Unwrapped in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts or anywhere else podcasts are found. Remember to click subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes. On behalf of the team here at We Are Futures, thanks for listening.